Hi and welcome to another very exciting video. Today I have some thoughts on Apple Watch and watchOS that I'd like to share and discuss with you. Recently, Apple announced that they had their best quarter with Apple Watch. They sold twice the volume of Series 3 models compared to the Series 2 a year ago. When it comes to increases in sales, wearables are now Apple's second best product category. This makes Apple Watch a product that you have to take serious, especially as a developer. So let's talk about Apple's most personal device and platform. Before we really get into my concerns, I'd like to share with you how I use my watch. First of all, I use reminders for my shopping list and the home app to control my HomeKit lights. I really love closing my three rings with the standard workout app. And since I upgraded from the original Apple Watch to the Series 3, I'm a big fan of using Siri for some tasks like adding items to my shopping list, controlling my HomeKit equipment, or setting a quick timer. And to reduce distractions, I only allow very few apps to send me notifications. For me, these are iMessages and emails from people on my VIP list, plus the notifications from the activity app. Especially when it comes to messages, I love the ability to quickly send and reply even when I'm doing stuff around the house and can't reach my phone at the moment. And last but not least, I'm mainly using the modular watch face that I configured to let me access the apps that I use most frequently and that also lets me take a quick glance at the current temperature. And that is basically how I use my Apple Watch. And to be honest, I really like it for what it does. But I'm also very curious, how are you using your watch? Which functions do you use most? Let me know it in the comments below. Now, my main concerns mainly come from the perspective as a developer. You might have noticed that I didn't mention any third-party apps. This is because I do not use a single third-party app on my watch anymore, because they were of no use to me. Which brings me to my main question. Why is there not a single killer third-party app that I really want or need? Do you have a similar experience or am I alone with this? I believe that many developers and companies do not see, understand or believe in the watchOS platform. So many iOS apps that offer an Apple Watch app are from my point of view unnecessary or do not offer the benefit that I want. One example is Things. It is my favorite to-do app and I use it every day on my phone and on my Mac, but not on my Apple Watch. I realized that managing my to-dos is just something that I want to do at my computer or on my phone. Why? Because it is a lot more convenient for me and on my watch it just takes too long or is too cumbersome. And this is true for many apps. Apple recommends a watch interaction time of just two seconds. This is a second of a glance and a quick tap of a button. And my personal experience is that this is exactly what I want. But an experience like that is only possible if you reduce a watchOS app to answer a single question or offer a single feature. Many developers do not get that. Amazon, for example, created an app that allowed you to order everything. The way I see it, just offering a single feature like dash buttons would have made much more sense. But Amazon discontinued their watchOS app along with some other big companies like eBay and Twitter. This surprises me, especially since the possibilities for developers got more sophisticated over the years. Just a few examples are SpriteKit and SceneKit for advanced graphics and CloudKit for data storage. Also, background modes and Siri features got a lot more powerful and the watch itself is a lot faster. I'm telling you this because I care about watchOS and I would love to finally have that killer app. Also, I would like to discuss this topic with you a lot more. You are the developers that could land the next big thing for Apple Watch. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments below. Also, let me know if there is a need for new watchOS tutorials. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel to not miss any new tutorials. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.